everybody, it's Sam at Mixed Up Craft. Thank you for watching my tutorial today. I'm going to be doing a card for a guy today, so I don't do a lot of them, so I thought I would. And this is one that's in the shape of a shirt. There are so many of these on Pinterest, and I saw, saw a photo and I thought, yeah, I'm going to give one a go. And they're really, really fun. So this is my take on it. It just opens up and you've got your inside there. And then these bits here, they fold in, which is nice as well, because it looks nice when they open the card like that, and then they just kind of pop out anyway. So... I think whoever you give it to will be, you know, quite intrigued and will be moving it around and looking at it and stuff. So, yeah, I've put the little pocket on some foam adhesive. I've used these um, little pearl buttons there and I've actually stitched little crosses with some brown thread. Again, just to make it look a little bit authentic. And then I've done the happy birthday band at the bottom there. This is the paper pack I've used. It's the Wild at Heart first edition. This is an old pack and I got this off of Every Crafts a Pound and I think it was five, three or five pound. It wasn't much at all, but this is the 12 by 12 and it's 48, yeah, 48 sheets. It's a bumper pack. So it's brilliant. It's one of those handy ones because it's not just, I wouldn't say, I mean, obviously it's great for your mail cards, but these wood grain backgrounds are lovely for shabby sheet projects. You know, you can fussy cut these lovely big bunnies for like Easter projects. And there's a lovely wood grain here. Look at that. That is really, I love that. That's such a nice pattern. So yeah, if you can still get hold of that one or even not, there's places, um, you know, sellers on Amazon and stuff that will still have this one. So definitely worth trying to grab one if you can. So I've just used the polka dot and it's a double sided. You do want a double sided paper works best for this style card because when we fold this over here, it creates the collar there and you get the reverse side. And then I've just cut these bits here and obviously flipped the pocket there again with the trim at the bottom. So yeah, it's a really, really fun card and very, very easy. So I'm going to pop that one there. All we need is a few bits here. So I have gone ahead and done all the little bits. I'm just going to be showing you how to get the shape because the decoration and stuff is very easy um, for you to do. So to mat the inside, so just this part here, you need a piece that's four and a quarter by five and five eighths of an inch. Okay, I'll stick that down later. My card base is a five by seven card base. So this is just cut from a piece of 10 by seven and then along the 10 inch side, I've scored at five inches, okay? Fold it in half and you've got your card base. This is just the 216 Paper Mania, 216 GSM Paper Mania cardstock that I use. It's a, it is lightweight for a base, but I always say once you add your mats and layers, it soon, you know, becomes a solider, solider, a more rigid card. <laughs> and then for the top one, so this is the actual shirt. So this is the piece you want to look at and think, okay, what kind of shirt pattern do I want? I've gone for a bit of a 60s kind of, you know, um, old gentleman, I guess, kind of stuff. I'm not sure. It's just that, yeah, it's it's a fun looking one. It's quite quirky, I think. Um, but you can do anything. Football shirts. There's, there's so many ideas out there. So do have a little look because it's, yeah, it's endless by six and three quarters. Yeah, six and three quarters. Okay. Then to make the sleeves, you will need two pieces that are one and a half squared. And then you also need to cut some one and a half strips by a quarter. I think it's about a quarter. Let me just have a look there. Yeah. So one and a half by a quarter and you'll need two. And you just want to stick them just along the very edge there. Excuse my thumb now. I've been doing some inking. <laughs> My fingers are very stained, but you can see there what you want to create, okay? So do that on two pieces. And then for the pocket, this is a piece of one and a quarter by one. And I've just rounded off the edges along the one and a quarter inch side. This is your one inch here. And then again, you want a piece that's one and a quarter in width. And that's literally about one eighth of an inch. Just a little bit of patterned paper just running through there. Okay. All these measurements will be on my blog as always. And then I've got three buttons there. This piece here is the strip along the bottom. The outer one, so the bigger one, is one inch by four and three quarters. And the one on top is three quarters of an inch. So I'm just dropping it down. Yeah, three quarters of an inch by the same width. So four and three quarters. Okay, and I've stamped my happy birthday on that one. Okay, so I don't need the scoreboard. I just had that there for, yeah, for going through all this. Okay, so first of all, with your actual patterned piece here, what you want to do is grab a ruler and a pencil. And we are going to put a marker at one and a half. Let me just check that was the correct measurement because I made this the other day. Yeah, one and a half. Okay, so along the very top, you want to come in 
one and a half and put a little just put a little pencil mark one and a half inches in from the top there from the left and um, so, sorry from the right and then here from the left so literally just a little pencil mark so I've got one here that's one and a half inches there and then one and a half inches to there okay then along the side here you want to come down an inch again just put a little pencil mark you'll be able to rub these out or you'll probably even cut them away once we do the next bit and then again come down one inch Oop, like so so again you can just see my pencil mark there that's one inch down from the corner and again there one inch down okay and then you want to come in one inch from that line so I'm just going to pop my ruler sorry my inches are on the bottom here so that's why the ruler's above the top but I'm just lining up that marker and that marker and then you want to come in one inch so just there and again come in one inch so that will be there okay and again I'll just bring that up so this now coming Run, put your ruler so it joins up that one to that one and then you can just mark at one inch there and then here I'm coming in at one inch and I've just put a little marker because what we're going to do now is we're going to cut from there to there and there to there and then we're going to fold this here and that will give us this piece so where we're cutting that's that one inch down there and we're going to cut in that's exactly the same here so let me show you first okay so very neatly just cut in like so okay and again on this side I'm just cutting just below that pencil mark and again like that okay and then next if you grab your ruler and line it up from that pencil mark and that one so you're on that angle and just lift up your cardstock and just kind of with your bone folder just push it against the ruler just so you get a nice crease there and again on this side like so just lift that up and again just get a really nice crease like so and then you can just bring it right over before you actually burnish it fully, you want to just make sure they just join. So if I just bring that in there, you see they just join and that's fine, that's exactly how you want it. And then you can just burnish it. If you're a little bit off, just move them around until you're happy where they are. But now, how quickly can you see we've got the collar for our shirt, okay? Next, you want to sit that on top of here okay and the easiest way now to do this is the gap you've got here is one eighth of an inch okay you just want to kind of do a little marker at one eighth of an inch there you want to come up and do another little one there you're kind of just giving it a border you want the same border so if I bring it up here so I put a little pencil mark about one eighth of an inch there up from here and then one there so it's about one eighth of an inch up from that corner and then one here so again, it's about one eighth of an inch. And then we're just gonna cut that section out. And all we want to do is just create a little border the same as this border here. It's easier to do that than to do all your measurements. If you want to, just do the same measurements again. So you're gonna do um, one and a half coming in there, one inch coming down there, and one inch going in there. So it'd be the same pencil marks. But I just find by just doing that, it's just a little bit quicker and a bit of a cheat way really so again I'm just going to do a little pencil mark there one there and one there okay so now I'm just going to get that cut out again just really pinch it together if you are cutting through two bits of cardstock and again just cut those two first and make sure you're happy and it's all lined up and then do the other ones okay so I've just cut that out and now when I sit that back over, I've got a perfect border, like so. Okay, you can see there. And I've just remembered actually the back one we don't need. I'm just gonna rub out a little bit of pencil mark there and there. But this back one can actually be straight, I forgot. So I'm just gonna grab my 
cutting knife and you just want to cut that away. Oh, it's fine. So that's what you want. You just want a flat piece along the back. And then that one will go nicely in there. Okay. So now I need to burnish this because I haven't. It's better. So now before we stick this down, we need to add our little sleeves here. Okay. So I've already stuck those pieces down. Remember that I said before. Now what you want to do is pop your sleeve behind here and you're going to line, so pop it on a, in a diamond angle like so, that's the top, the bottom, so this is where you want your strip. You're going to pop it behind here and you're going to line up this top point here with the point of the shirt like so. Now it's up to you if you want to put that point for the bottom down as well, so you've got it like that, so it's quite tucked in, but I actually liked it, see I've got a bit coming out here, so still keeping that joint that point at the very top but I bring it out a little bit like so. I preferred that look. And then what I've done is just draw a pencil right the way down there and then that's all where we need to add our glue. So again I'm going to do it on this side here. So it's about, ooh, about three eighths of an inch that I've got there so again I'm going to line this one up like so. And again just draw pencil mark and then I'm just going to add a thin amount of glue there, you don't want to go crazy. Get that one down while I'm here. I'll do this one first, so just line up the top. I'm going to go over my pencil line slightly just so I don't have to worry about rubbing it out. Like so. And then this one. And just flip it over and just make sure it's all nicely stuck down. Okay, and then again with these side bits here, you just pop your ruler down and just lift them up, just like we did before, just like that, and it just give you a nice crease rather than just folding them over when you've put the card all together. If you do it this way, it just again just keeps it looking nice and sharp, like so. Okay, you can see how quickly that's come together. So now we want to stick it down onto here. So I'm going to use just some of my wet glue. You don't want to stick the sleeves, only you, you, you're literally just sticking the, the square shape. Don't go over onto these bits here because <laughs> it won't stick to anything apart from your desk. And then just Make sure you get it all nice and even, your borders, just line it all up. A little bit of wiggle room there. There we go. And again, just make sure it's all stuck down. Okay, so now all we need to do is the decoration. So I've got my happy birthday and I've already popped my backing on here. So I'm just going to get this one stuck down. Again you may choose to do something different, you might have a little kind of badge effect that's got happy birthday on it. Um, but I quite liked this way because you can have you know quite a long sentiment and it will sit perfectly from side to side. It will cover like that. There we go, and then I've got my hot glue, and first of all I'm just going to pop a little bit just to glue the collar down, like so, and I'm going to pop a little bit of hot glue on top, pop my first button down, and then pop another one a very small bead of glue. Do these a little closer together than last time. Like a polo shirt. In fact, that's what it is, isn't it? It's a little polo shirt, not a shirt shirt. There we go. If I just bring that up just so you can see how cute does that look? Really, really nice. And then I just need to add my. Where did I put my little pocket? Like I said, I put it on some foam adhesive just because it, I think, adds a little bit of 
fun dimension and then bring it down so it's kind of the line there is in line with the bottom button again it's entirely up to you and there you have it and then see I can just fold that over there quite easily and then let's just stick my backing and get that one nicely stuck down and there you have it two really fun cards for guys and I think they're great and the, I mean this is just this particular style but this works for any um, top so you can do a nice blouse for a lady there's I mean the like I said the the ideas are endless there's so many great ones out there so but this is my take and I think they look really really fun so there you have it so I hope you've enjoyed this tutorial it's nice to do something for the guys I think they get a little bit forgotten sometimes um, so I'm gonna like I said I am gonna be doing a lot more um, and try and do a few each month because I think that would be good and I know I certainly need some in my stash anyway so yeah hope you've enjoyed it if you have please give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel so you get to see more. Thanks for watching, bye.